Hey guys, how's it going? Jason here. So just an end of the day update. Um, yesterday I didn't do the end of the day. I think I ended up um, pretty even, maybe down, I think I was down actually 2,000 and then up after hours um, a little bit. Well, after hours when the morning opened. Anyhow, uh, today we ended up about 12,000. And what I'm doing is I am being very, very aggressive with moving up my uh, put credit spreads on Tesla. Um, I feel fairly confident it's going to keep this level and not dip down crazy again since we've just we've seen those crazy low levels the last the last week or so. Everything seems very positive with the bond market, with the interest rates, with um, with the stimulus getting signed and moving along. So I just wanted to take a look at what I have open right now. And so the first thing uh, just that's expiring tomorrow, I have my 800 and my 820. Those are the stock cover calls that I have. And we are probably just gonna move those out tomorrow. They could expire worthless, either one is fine. And then I have two 750 calls that I bought. That's kind of just a YOLO. Uh, see what happens tomorrow if Tesla happens to, to um, you know, really, really shoot up tomorrow. Those will be pretty profitable, but we may lose that. So I put four hundred dollars into that, which isn't isn't too much compared to how much we've been moving the last few days. Um, and then everything else, like these are these are just a lot of uh, cover calls, poor man cover calls. Um, until I, I get to what we have going on um, expiring next week. As far as Tesla, we have just four uh, call credit or call debit spreads. Those are 1,000. I've had those there forever, uh, ever since Tesla was like 800 and some, and it looked like it was going to keep going up. So that was kind of a YOLO. Um, and I did spend about a thousand dollars on that. I don't expect that to be profitable or gain any of that money back. I don't think Tesla is hitting a thousand dollars in a day. And that would take some major crazy news. Um, other than that, I've just continually moved stuff up and taken some cash from these guys. I've moved everything up to about 650s. So we have 12 of those expiring 650, 640s expiring next week. Um, and, and one 650. 645 and that's all I have going on um, for the end of next week moving out one more week we've moved everything up 650s um, 600s and stuff so we're so we moved everything out of the 500s and just moved up to collect some more money and also to just fund more credit spreads to move all those guys up and then you know, farther out than that, we don't we don't have a whole lot until we see. Um, I guess we have a couple couple in June, and and then the rest of them are basically at the end of the year or you know nine months away essentially. Um, these 700 690s, the 36 of them, those are ones that I moved out quite a while ago, and I've just stuck them there. Um, so if it happens to go up quite a bit, I can roll those back, close them. Um, whatever I choose to do there, but for the time being, those are probably just going to stay there for a while. Um, my leaps have really changed in the last couple days, so DraftKings obviously has been rocking up, so that guy's up $700. Um, we also have the covered call that we sold on that. Um, so this is the DraftKings 80, so we sold that for $141, and that is against that one. So, um, other than that, we are just going to continue to be very aggressive with moving them up as the Tesla stock moves up. And if it happens to move against us, then of course we'll do the same thing like we did before, move them out. Um, Except for this time, I will definitely not be closing them out if, if it happens to move against us. It would have to move quite a bit. And I think it's already been been tested quite enough to where I don't feel like I'm going to see that, which is why I decided to be very aggressive also. Um, kind of to make up for my poor decision of not holding on to it. I, um, again, hindsight, wish I just would have held everything. 
it would have been um, quite a quite an easier recovery on the account. We probably would have been up another twenty thousand or so, but that's how it is. So um, we expect. I don't know. It, it'll, it'll definitely be months before we're back up to where we're at, where we were at. But that's okay. We can take our time. Um, Tesla did end up. I think it it touched seven hundred and then back down a little bit after. Uh, I guess it was right before close that it back back down. But we're starting to see those seven hundreds now. And we do have a couple hundred shares, and we're still buying a little bit every day, kind of regardless of what happens. So that is it for the account right now. I hope you guys had a great day. Hope you had a green day. How much did you make today? All right, have a great day and make a lot of money.